Well, stepping out the door this morning, I take an umbrella with you. Storms will be more isolated today, but this afternoon we get a chance of some isolated thunderstorms. Some could have gusts up to 60 miles per hour, which is the threshold for severe thunderstorm warnings. So a uh, slight chance that you get one of these storms today, and it's a kind of day where either you miss out on the rain altogether, or if you get a thunderstorm, it could be strong. So have an umbrella with you just in case. High 73 today, otherwise a breezy afternoon. Still warm today and tomorrow. We'll be in the 70s tomorrow. More scattered thunderstorms, a lower chance of strong storms, but scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday evening continuing through Saturday night. Then it's going to get cooler on Sunday with highs in the 50s. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is hitting the road right now to help vaccinate the state's younger population. The department's teaming up with universities and colleges to bring vaccines to students. Nearly 16,000 Johnson & Johnson vaccines are on the way to health departments in participating communities. 26 schools across the state, including U of M, Wayne State, Lawrence Tech, and Oakland University have joined the effort. Also today, a vaccination clinic will get underway at Michigan State. The goal is to vaccinate students before they head home for the summer. Meantime, the Duggan administration is putting together plans to knock on doors across the city of Detroit to encourage people to get a COVID-19 vaccine. The city expects to have crews visiting homes by the end of the month. They plan to speak with Detroiters about the importance of getting the vaccine and how to sign up for the shots. Despite vaccination sites at TCF Center and Ford Field, only 22% of Detroiters have received at least one vaccine dose. Michigan Republicans in the state Senate have passed a bill that could impact indoor dining. Senate Bill 250 spells out limits for indoor dining based on coronavirus positivity rates. The higher the rates, the lower the capacity at restaurants. As of Wednesday, Michigan's positivity rate was at 15.6%. Based on the bill, that number would mean indoor dining would completely shut down. The bill now goes to a House committee for consideration.